Hello and welcome to uh, how to install MAMP on uh, Macintosh. Uh, this is Charles Severance and uh, this is just part of my uh, PHP introductory course. So I'm going to assume that you're capable of installing a programmer editor. I don't recommend that you use Notepad and then certainly don't use Word. You want an editor that respects lines and understands the syntax of uh, what we're doing. I've already got Text Wrangler installed here and so here's where you would download it. It's pretty straightforward. So um, there are many of these built in uh, combined uh, Apache web servers and MySQL all put together. Um, there, you know, each has its advantages and disadvantages. Some work better than others. Uh, this particular one is MAMP. I like MAMP because it does its work on port 888. 8,888 rather than port 80, so you can kind of run it at the same time as your normal built-in Macintosh HTTP server. So um, the reason I didn't like MAMP is they're always trying to upsell you to this pro thing, but it turns out you just get used to ignoring that, and it's a very fine piece of software, and you don't have to pay it all. So let's go ahead and download um, the MAMP Pro, get, the, get that downloading. It takes a while, and we're going to skip ahead. Okay, so now uh, through the magic of uh, <clears throat> television, we are already downloaded. Now this is, uh, I'll go into my downloads here. This is a pretty big file, um, 145 megabytes. Um, it's got a lot of stuff in it. So that it's a zip file, so the first thing we're going to do is extract it. And so that'll extract it. And now it's a install package, and we will double click on the install package. Now you will want to be an administrator uh, when you're doing this and just continue through this continue agree to the license uh, license and give it a minute we'll install for all users hopefully you are doing this as the administrator so it may ask you for your administrator password so here's my administrator my screencaster account is an administrator and now MAMP is installing. So there we go. It is installed. And so we'll hide this, hide this, hide this, minimize that. So now I'll go into my Macintosh hard drive. I'll go into applications. And here indeed is MAMP. And here's MAMP Pro. I'm just going to use MAMP for now and I will launch MAMP right here. Now it it's trying to sort of up, up push me to MAMP Pro but I really don't want to use it and so I'm going to tell it I don't want to check I just want to really launch MAMP every time I'm going to do it so I'll just say launch MAMP and um, I'm going to keep this in my dock just because I want to keep it in my dock and now I have an Apache web server and a MySQL server and I will start the servers and if everything goes well if everything goes well I will see that I have two greens <clears throat> two green lights and um, that, that has both servers. Now it automatically open the start page you can open the start page. Now here, here is MAMP. Now it's running on localhost which is my computer port 8088 slash MAMP and this is just the main start page and it's telling us some things. Um, PHP MyAdmin, for example, will be the way that we will play with databases and make new databases, but uh, we won't do that. Uh, PHP Info is often good to find out what version you have, what options are turned on in your PHP. Uh, configuration is uh, pretty tricky in PHP, um, but one of the nice things about MAMP is they usually put in all the things that you need and so you just you don't have to put all this stuff together but if you're really building a PHP environment yourself you might have to make a bunch of choices for this okay so so there we go um, now let's write our first application goodbye Dr. Chuck let's write our first application I can minimize this our servers are running I don't need that so I'm gonna write text wrangler so I'm going to start H1, hello from Dr. Chuck's web page. 
That's all what I'm going to say. And I'm going to say file, save as. And this is also a good point where, oh, that's where I used to put those things. But now let's go to applications, map, htdocs. Now I'm going to make a new folder called howdy. So in my htdocs, I have a folder called howdy, and then I'm going to say index.php. So I'm going to make a PHP file, name it index.php, and save it. And it now sort of does some syntax coloring because it sort of knows that PHP and HTML are the same thing. If I take a look at my Macintosh hard drive, I go to applications, map, htdocs, folder named howdy, and then a file index.php. So then let me go to my web browser and I'll open up another tab, http colon slash slash localhost colon 888 and then the folder name, h-o-w-d-y, howdy. Remember I named the folder howdy. And there we go. Uh, how do you, the fact that I used the folder without a file means it went and looked at the index.php file that I have in there and away I go. So there we go. That, that is the HTML that I put in howdy.php. But that's not really much HTML. So I'm going to put a paragraph tag in. Then I'm going to put less than question mark PHP, which says switch into the PHP language instead of HTML. And I'm going to say echo hello from the code slash n parentheses, semicolon. So there's some PHP code. And then we have this question mark less than that switches us back out of the PHP. So from here to here is PHP code. And this stuff outside here is simply HTML. That's how PHP works. It's HTML pages with little embedded bits of code. So I will save that and go back and hit refresh. And so you see, oh, I should probably put another paragraph here. So it sort of looks a little better. Yet another paragraph. So I just put another paragraph in, I hit refresh. Let's say goodbye to that. Make this a little smaller so you can see it all at the same time. Say goodbye to my little drawer there. So here we go. Okay, so I refresh that page and now I'm going to view source. Oh, where is the view source? Hang on a sec. I've got to change the preferences. I need the developer tools turned on in this account. Sorry, I hadn't done that yet. Can I... Show page source. Okay. Okay, so here's the source to this, this code, and you see the H1, the P, and then the slash P. This is came from the code, and it was a hello from the code and then a new line. So that, that's a new line right there. And so the resulting thing that the browser sees is the interleaving of the HTML that's in the file as well as whatever output is in the PHP. Okay? So that's the that's the first program. Um, so let's let's um, let's do something else. Let's um, create some variables. Dollar x equals six. Dollar y equals seven. Answer equals dollar x times dollar y, and answer is dollar ants slash n. Okay, so there I think I got that right. So now I've got you know quite a little bit of code here. So let me hit the refresh. Okay, so this gives you a sense, right? of 
you know, this part here is the HTML. Then there's a code that runs in the middle here. The code that runs in the middle produces this output, and it's just there, right? When the page was generated, the PHP code ran, and out she came. Okay, so there you go.